Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today is a commission piece. In fact, my mother-in-law has asked me to create a piece for one of her best friends. So I'm using black, white and grey. I'm going to use a marble and I'm going to swipe in some lacing detail. I'm going to stretch it out by tilting the canvas from side to side and arranging the composition to show a creation of lines, block colour and lacing. So, thank you so much for joining me. Let's see what we can create. So the canvas itself is 24 inches by 12 inches. Here's my colour palette. So I've got Lamp Black by Amsterdam. You can see the consistency there. I take the paint out of the cup on my spatula, drizzle it back into the cup. It shows a bit of a mound before it disappears. And that's the same consistency for all three colours. This is Titanium White by Amsterdam and then Neutral Grey by Amsterdam. Of course, when I stretch it out, it will create some tones of grey by mixing the black and the white together. But we just wanted to add a neutral grey to this piece too. And I'm going to swipe with Lamp Black and Australian Floetrol, one part paint to four parts Floetrol. And there's my marble. I know that I'm going to have so much fun because this is a real classic colour palette. With just three colours, I know that I'm going to be able to create something very classic and very elegant. So first of all, I'm just taking one colour at a time and I'm pouring puddles on the canvas. There's no real formula to this. I'm just puddling the puddles in a random order ensuring that there's some space between each puddle for me to put a different colour. And many of you do ask me when I do this type of technique where I puddle paint on the canvas, do I have any layer on the canvas before I place the puddles on top? And the answer is no. I'm literally placing the puddles on top of a raw canvas that's been primed. You'll see here that I'm using my torch just to get rid of any air bubbles. And those air bubbles have been formed when I mix my paints together with the pouring medium. So here's the fun part. I'm going to place the marble just here in this black puddle. And then I'm going to gently pick up my canvas and I'm just going to tilt the canvas from side to side, moving the marble from one puddle to another, moving it into a puddle of a different colour. And you'll see that the marble helps drag the paint from one puddle to another puddle and helps those colours really infuse together. But the marble itself is creating different lines. So when we go to stretch this out, whilst we stretch the paint across the full canvas, the lines will expand. And this is how we start to create our block colour and our lines. And the swipe will also in turn create the lacing. So I'm happy with the pattern that's being created on top. And you can see here how the marble, by tilting the canvas from side to side and moving the marble on the surface, has created this pattern and created those lines and the infusion of all those three colours. So now I'm going to swipe and I'm using a black paint mixed with Australian Floetrol, one part paint to four parts Floetrol. And I'm going to use my palette knife and I'm literally going to dip my palette knife into the paint, ensuring that the palette knife surface is fully covered in the paint. And then I'm going to take my palette knife and rest it on top of the paint that we've got on the canvas and just gently slide that palette knife across that paint that's already layered from one side to the other. 
and the formula of the paint mixed with the flow troll will create that lacing effect. And I'm going to repeat that again. And I'm not pressing too hard. I'm just allowing both paints to connect together. And I glide that palette knife on top of the surface of the paint that we've used for the puddles. I'm just adding a little bit more of the white paint around the edges. That's going to help me with the balance of the colours of the black, the white and the grey, but also give me some more paint on the surface of the canvas to allow me to help the paint flow on the top. It's going to help me move that paint from side to side when I stretch it out. I'm just going to take my torch again, get rid of any of the air bubbles, and hopefully create a little bit more reaction with the lacing. I'm taking you in now for a very quick look at a close up just so you can see how that lacing combined with the lines from the marble and that block colour has formed on top of the surface. So now it's about creating a composition, a look that you're happy with. So as you can see, I've picked up my canvas I move the canvas around just so I'm happy with which way I'm going to tilt it. I want to show you how I do this, so I'm just going to make sure that I can tilt it in your direction. And it's about moving the paint across the canvas. We've got more than enough volume of paint on the canvas to ensure that the full surface area and sides get covered. And it's about just taking this slowly, moving it from side to side, moving the pattern that's been created on top the lines and the lacing, and just taking it from one side to another, moving that paint across the canvas. And if you walk the paint across the canvas, and what I mean by that is just tilting it slightly from side to side slowly, you can ensure that you maintain that form of the cells and the lacing that you see on top. If you was to just tilt it from one side to another, in quite a sharp angle and quite quickly, you'd probably lose the formation of that and the cells would become very distorted. So when I say about walking it across the canvas, that's what I mean. So just take your time, step back, turn the canvas when you need to, and just tilt from side to side, push the paint down the sides and then back on itself to allow you to bring that volume of paint back onto the surface turn your canvas and allow you to then tilt in the opposite direction and push the paint off and down the sides. Do that as many times as you need to until you're happy with the creation that you've made, until you're happy with the pattern that you've got on top. And for me, this is very much about having the lacing at either end and that detail of the lines and the block color in the middle. That's my aim with this piece. So I'm now really happy with the balance of the block colour, the lines and the lacing. So let me take you in to see a wet version look, a close up of all that lacing you can see here, balanced with the block colour in the middle with the lines that were created by the marble and then the lacing on the other end. I'm of course going to let this piece dry and I will take you in for a close up of the dry version too but let me leave you now with some of these details of this wet version. And you can see how some of those tones have created by immersing and infusing those paints together.
So here's the dry version and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And if you like it too, please give this video a thumbs up and please share if you feel like you want to. I'd love to reach other people across YouTube who might be interested in this type of art form. And by sharing out my stuff, that really helps me reach those people that are not yet aware of my channel. A big, big thank you to everyone for joining me today. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really, really appreciate it. And I really do hope I get to see you again in the next video. And take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye.